Okay, so here's a new chord progression I discovered the other day. I was just listening to some sample and I thought, wow, I need to replicate that progression. So this is how it sounds like. Beautiful chord progression, I think. So, just to explain what's going on there, first chord is a G flat minor ninth. I'm playing the ninth as an inversion. Incidentally, it's in the key of A major, so it's. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so, the G flat minor is the sixth chord in the scale, so that's where I start. This chord here is um, E flat minor. It's not in the scale, but it does match because in one of my previous tutorials, actually on my membership site, if you joined that, uh, one of the videos, one of the recent videos, I explained that you can take a minor chord and just take three half steps back or forth. And you'll always find a complementing, <coughs> excuse me, um, complementing minor chord which may not be, which is not in the scale, but it will always sound nice. Okay, so it's, that's what I've used, E flat minor, and then the D major to finish off. Um, the D major is the fourth chord in the scale, so it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how it works. Notice the E flat minor is a ninth and I'm rolling down using my fingers and the thumb and then the D major is the seventh I'm just rolling up from the D to the E okay and there's a little bit of a change there um, now so I'm playing okay so what that is instead of starting on the G flat minor I start on the E flat minor and I can use the black keys just to um, voice it Again, this A flat minor is not in the scale. Okay, there's a seventh chord there. It's there, but it's a seventh. Now the seventh the chord number seven is usually um, a diminished seventh chord. By um, swapping a diminished to a minor, you do get some very um, sulfur sounding chord progression. So that's what I've done here. And then the E flat, A flat minor, and then the D. Now let's um, have a go looking at the bass lines, okay? Let's play it with a bass line. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, just playing on the root there. Okay, now. You wonder what I did there, so. Um, the first three chords were on the root. Now the second half, um, when I played the A flat, what I've chosen, what I've chosen to do is take the eleventh. Good trick here. So if you take the eleventh of um, a minor and use that as a bass line, so it's, you get a lot of depth, real neo soul, deep sounding chord. I'm doing the same for the E flat minor. Instead of playing the, the root, I'm playing the 11th chord, so A flat, okay, so I'm playing the A flat as the bass there, and then back to the D, okay, 1, 5, 1 there, so it's an A, so it's a D, A, D, okay, so play that again. Um, so it starts off like this, so it's and I'll start the whole comp I'll, I'll start the whole chord progression again, so it sounds like this. Okay, for the change. change okay, so I'll start again
let, let's try um how it sounds with a piano. <laughs> <laughs> 